No. everybody it is almost seven o'clock we are getting ready to head to claremont motorsports park what do you think walt well it's uh snowing <laughs> snowing here up in new hampshire so it's going to be a cold day at the racetrack if it keeps snowing we're gonna have to bring some of the dirt tires to put on the pavement modified we'll have to take them off <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's snowing so hopefully this will let up and we can go racing. Gotta love good old New England. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just gonna rain. Nope, snow. It'll be a whopping 45 by no time. <laughs> oh well, as long as the track's dry, black and wet for the pavement, the dirt would be all boy. It's gonna have some bite, but the pavement always has bite, so. <laughs> As long as I get it dried off and we'll be good to go. So it's early, but we gotta go down and pick out tires. So yeah. Hopefully the snow lets up. I still gotta load the car. <laughs> Have to back the trailer up right in the door. <laughs> changes and they didn't help so we're gonna go back to what we had before and try that so we'll see just too tight in the middle off and it kills you here because the place is so narrow um, so we'll, we'll see what we can do Ready to go? 
Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll put tires on, made some adjustments. Hopefully the car's better. We really hope it's better. So, we'll see. Get all strapped in, get ready to roll.
leaking just because we were leaking something. Still not sure what we were leaking. Uh, so that was frustrating. We pulled the overflow and there was maybe a, a couple of cups of water that come out, but nothing, nothing significant. So, I don't know. See what we can do in the second one. We should start up front. I was able to get back out of the lead lap um, and ran the guys down from about a straightaway back to pass one guy. There's only like six laps left. So, frustrating, but we'll see what we can do. Move forward now. Forget about what happened earlier. So, maybe we can have a good run in this one. some adjustments hopefully we can stay on the on the front row <laughs> um, we got 35 laps um, if it goes green to checkers like the other one did and we don't have any mysterious leaks um, I don't think we will um, we should be fine um, I think the car is gonna be pretty good so we'll see um, I got confidence in it we'll see really like to get a top five um, a win would be awesome um, though the luck we've had today a top five would be solid so We'll keep digging, see what we can do.
kind of stunk. The second race was looking good up until lap three when you got spun. What do yeah. you think? Uh, we struggled today early. Um, you know, we we didn't time trial well. And then we got hung in traffic um, early on. We made some adjustments. The car was a lot better. Um, I felt like we would be able to race, you know, in the top five. And again, same old story. I feel like when we come here, um, we got black flagged for leaking fluid. Not sure where the fluid was coming from because there wasn't any fluid leaking. Um, but whatever is what it is. So we regrouped. I made another adjustment. We ran early in the day, the first feature, and then the second feature was the last one of the night. So I tried to tighten the car up as much as I dared, um, and I didn't go enough. Uh, the car was really good to start. Um, that's pretty good lap times. I mean, we started on the pole, and it was a little tight to start, but once the tires got warmed up, we, we were decent, and I felt like I could have run, you know, in the top five. Um, but lap, lap three, um, some guys trying to win it on lap three, um, but I guess you'll have that. A little aggressive tonight, but oh well. We'll get over it. We'll regroup. We'll go to race tomorrow, anyways. We'll come back to the dirt cars. We'll have a lot of fun with those. Um, again, can't thank Stuart and Kathy enough for this opportunity. Um, no matter what, no matter what the results are, Stuart's always got my back, um, which is great. It's great to have an owner like that, especially when we've struggled this year. Um, nobody's fault. I'm inexperienced driving one of these. We've only run what five races all year, where my dirt car run almost 20. Um, so if you don't do it all the time, it's tough. I mean, that's just how the year's been with COVID and all that stuff. We haven't had a chance to race a whole lot. Um, so we finished seventh in the second one. Um, you know, we'll take that, take it in stride. You know, and we'll learn from it. So this is it for this car. Um, the season's over for the asphalt stuff. You can see the front bumper up again. Um, not really running into anybody. Just I don't even know what happened. To be honest with you. So. Here's my dad's gotta thank my sponsors for this car. Uh, SKB Enfield Garage, or not Enfield Garage, Mirror Lake Automotive, that was his old business. <laughs> um, Pleasant Valley Store, um, Stuart and Kathy Bean. Um, my cousin John Sandville came and helped tonight. Um, that was a surprise, he came to watch and jumped in and helped. My mom, my dad, um, Dylan, my sister, Heather, um, anybody that was around. Um, we had a lot of guys grab t-shirts, guys and gals. Um, so that was cool. There was some guy from Iowa today that was cool. Um, he actually races a B mod, so we got to talk with him. And he raced a street stock for the the NASCAR national points to win the national championship. So that was really cool to see somebody that's from out west, you know, at that area. He drove 20 hours here to clinch that championship, which is a big deal. So congrats to him. I don't even know what his name was, but it was cool to see him here. Um, and we got to talk racing on the dirt at the asphalt track. So we'll regroup. We'll be loaded up tomorrow with the dirt cars, and hope everybody has a good night.